the most astounding discoveries of the 20th century was when Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was expanding. In the 1920s, Hubble turned the mirror of the 100-inch newly constructed Hooker telescope towards these distant objects called nebula. And what he found was that these objects were actually individual separate galaxies, each containing billions of stars that were outside of our own galaxy. He discovered something very startling. Nearly all the galaxies were moving away from us. Moreover, the further away the galaxies were, the faster they were moving. It was as though there was a giant explosion sometime in the past that sent galaxies hurtling through the universe. The ones that were moving faster are now further away. A more likely explanation for this was found and discarded by Albert Einstein some 10 years earlier. Einstein, when he wrote down the equations of general relativity, the equations of gravity, he found that you couldn't have a universe that was static, that was standing still. The universe had to be either expanding or contracting. Einstein, as well as everyone else at that time, knew that the universe was unchanging. And so Einstein did something to his equations. He fudged. He put in a, what he called a cosmological constant. Later, when Einstein heard of Hubble's discovery, he called this cosmological constant his greatest blunder. The expansion of the universe is not an explosion where galaxies are flying away from one another through space, but it's an expansion of space itself. Except for local motion due to gravity, galaxies are just hanging out. As, as space expands, each one sees the other galaxies moving away from it. This Big Bang somehow launched the universe into an expansion that continues to this day. There have been refinements to the Big Bang Theory, but the basic idea still holds. As we look out into the universe, we're looking further and further backwards in time. Since light travels at 300 million meters per second, the furthest we can probe is the distance light can travel in the age of the universe. Thus, there is a horizon to the universe beyond which we cannot see. We assume that the part of the universe that's outside our horizon is just like the universe within our horizon but we can never know. So next time you look up at night, contemplate the giant time machine that's laid out before you and appreciate how Hubble's discovery has put this all within the reach of our minds. <laughs>